All right, we're live. Are we live? We are live. We are on the air. Well, get after it, girl. We are Let's live. get this thing. Uh, just keep going on. Hold, hold on. I did this earlier. Oh, you've been, you've been experimenting. I've been Quite experimenting. Like you're sitting here waiting on us. Yes. Hey, girl. Hello. Look at that. We've already got an ad. We don't need an ad. Mm. Susan is in here. Okay, so now then. Dandelion Fields. Okay. Yes, they were right, in I'm my so last. I'm so far away from the computer, man. I can't hardly. Uh, you want to scoot up? Oh, man, I can't see. Well, I'll just do well, this here. Cause, hold look, on, no. Okay. It doesn't play any part in what we're doing here. He's messing with me. I'm it, messing with him. I got to get where right it's looking, the chat. We're looking really fuzzy. I'm, I'm not sure what, fuzzy. The, what the fuzzy is. It was doing that today. Hey, oh, Jen, Coco. On. He's go. messing up my stuff, y'all. I'm screwing with her setup here. Now you're going to have the computer in. Uh, <laughs> He's messing up everything. Okay, y'all. Hold on here. Let me set that up right there. So. No, it's okay. still good. Hey. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. Hello, no, people. I had it right. Okay. Cackleberry. Hey. Debra, Jessica, Hello, Deep South. Teaser pleasers. Jessica. April. April. We're looking forward to seeing April. Yeah. About a week. Oh, Briz. Okay, so yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. what I was wanting to do is see if I can do this. So oh, can you move pop out? I pop out. You have to move it over. If I can move it over. And then we don't see each other very much, but that's okay. I don't care. No, I don't see each other. This one. Okay, now we can see the chat a little better. That looks better. That's more for blind people. Yeah, yeah it's for people like us who have bad eyes. Okay, what happened is we ended up way away from our camera. That's the whole deal. Are we? Yep. Well, we were close to the camera. I know, but we ended up way away from it. Okay, guys. When it comes to garden tools, do you use anything on the wood handles to preserve them? Yes. I use the linseed oil uh, that came in. The, uh, actually, you can get it anywhere, any of your hardware stores or anything, but the Hoss Tool, uh, the Hoss Tool, the Homestead box sent us a can of linseed oil in one of the boxes, and I use that linseed oil on it. If I don't have that, then I use uh, other types of oils like um, flaxseed. Flaxseed oil is basically the same thing as linseed oil, just chemically made different. Michael Pratt had to get sick and stay in the hospital in order to uh, make a live stream on time. Ha ha, he made it on time for once. <laughs> right. Man, we've been praying for you, you know that. Uh, you, Michael Pratt's had a lot of the same symptoms I had back in, what, April? Ah, uh, yeah, it was sometime March or April. Then. And it's hard when you can't get answers and you have a lot of issues and nobody seems to be. But at least they ruled out his heart. And they ruled out mine. So Mike and I both have good hearts, according to what they say. I, think, I guess so. Jenny and Danny are going, oh, we're, we're not so sure. Yeah. Hey, Scratch. Yeah. Um, so I saw a April said she's making me some kind of goodies and bringing them when she comes. Okay. okay. <laughs> I just saw that. I didn't catch what kind. I saw Mr. something. Mr. Dirt, good. what's up, my man? Wow. Are you in Oklahoma? Yes. That's what I was wondering. Have you made it to the big Oakla? Yes. If it is, your behind was hot today. Because <laughs> I looked on the radar. Everybody's was hot today. Everybody in the central part of the United States today was hot. Yeah. Scratch yeah. Like Mickey is just old. That's right. He is, ain't he? Yep. He's just getting old. We probably talked about that at the conference, you know, about how old he's getting. So. Okay. Um, Bring pickling okra and pears and making some salsa today. Yes. Right. He says he is in Oklahoma. And yes, it was hot. <laughs> okay. That's what I was thinking. Very hot. Makes you reminisce about Deep South, doesn't it, Mr. Dirt? Yeah. Uh, candy corn covered pretzels. pretzels. Oh. You can't have any. I know it. I can. Okay. Anita says, Wanda, I can pairs your way for the first time. Awesome fact, easy going to do my peaches the same. Going to do my peaches the same. Yeah, we do apples and oh, yeah. pears and peaches and 
all that that way and it, it's just so much easier when you want them in either whole or in well not necessarily whole in halves yeah. quarters slices chunks anyway yeah. marshall farm said we're going to send y'all some red pepper seed red, red ripper oh yeah that's what you were talking about I want some of those we don't seeds. have any red rippers now we have some Mississippi purple holes that I've saved for years. Now those things get to be huge. But, Serena um, O'Neill says the Danny corn is growing tall. That's great. We're trying to collect pictures. If you can, send me pictures on yeah, email, email to her. Uh, Deep South Homestead at gmail.com. I'm collecting pictures because we've just finished harvesting our Danny corn this morning. Got the last of it, and he bush hogged the fields, and I'm wanting to put together um, – different people all over the country i'm not going to use your names i will put the state where it's growing if y'all don't mind um american homestead said it was very hot today too and then i saw yeah. scotland see my my ancestors are from scotland my mom's family was douglas's and when i went through danny's family history guess what he his mom was a canard and both the douglas's and canards are for, from scotland so Danny yep. and I have Scottish. Uh, Sheila, I cannot have the candy corn fudge. <laughs> you can't have candy corn. I can't corn have candy anything. corn. I can't have fudge. I can't have anything that's really good. I can, though, just saying. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I have to rub it in every now and then. Yeah. Yeah, Jim's putting up, her and uh, Quake Lake are putting up our Gmail. So if you uh, yeah. need to, you can send us the pictures that way. Our corn seems to be drying pretty good. It's in the crib right now. It's scattered out. Um, well, it's actually up about, I don't know, maybe a foot thick in there right now. I go in and check it every day. And Plus, we took some out. We brought some to the house. It's on the porch drying. We have some in the house drying. So we've got it. Uh, we've got a second from Scotland. Yes, we yes. have some, Scot some of our ancestors possibly so that over could there. could be some. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, that is, that's I, cool. We've got an array of things we're supposed to talk about. Oh, yeah, we just slam forgot. Yeah. Uh, let's start off with, um, let me think. The okay, back. hold up. Brenda Duncan says, my Danny corn is laying all over on my Asian purple beans. Too many storms. Yeah. <laughs> that happens. We had, that's what happened to ours this year. It got all blew down. But it's straightened back up some, you know. <laughs> Mr. Dirk says that's what we're here for to keep our spouses from eating the bad stuff. That's he and I had to eat all oh, the that's junk true. food, yeah, so that Julianne and Danny could stay healthy. Yeah, me and Julie figured we'd probably outlive all of them, but it's probably gonna be the other way around. <laughs> yeah, Dirk and I are gonna be pretty, pretty. Oh, uh, Brad, I, did I get his message about the King ancestors? No, where did you send it? Where did it? you send it to, Brad? You have to let us know where you sent it because um, I don't think I've seen one from you. I don't think we did. Send it to deep south homestead at gmail.com. That way I know I get it. We've got two or three emails floating out there, and yeah. we're going to condense it down to that one because it's easier to get to. Okay. Hey, Elizabeth. Um, What's the reason for, for the, the DE in the corn crib? The DE in the corn crib is for things like uh, earwigs. Uh, Leslie said, because we have preservatives. <laughs> uh, um, I got you, girl. Uh, you know, it's got we, for earwigs, um, and it kind of helps to control some things. Now, if you start getting weevils in your corn and stuff like that, you can put, uh, my mind just went blank. Uh, what's the seasoning we use? It's got the leaf, uh, bay leaves. Bay leaves. You can put bay leaves all in your corn if you shell it out and you put it uh in the uh, like we put it in a container you can put some bay leaves down in that container with your corn and it, it, it takes care of things like weevils and stuff like that it's a natural deterrent uh, de does the same thing all right uh, d says she has no audio uh refresh and uh jen tell d to refresh and while i see d's here we got to meet d this week and yeah she, she came is by. an awesome lady yes uh she bought the second dough bowl yeah she bought dough bowl number two yes and uh she came and picked it up in person and we just had a wonderful time with her we just 
I mean, she's going to be a good friend. She's been with us probably She's been since. with us for a pretty good while. She was probably one of the first 100 that yeah. subbed to us. And uh, so we got we got to meet her. I mean, because she was Doc D back then. Yeah. And now she she's changed, changed her, her name, name to just D. But she was just, she loved her dough bowl, and we loved meeting her. And then today, Laura. Yeah, Laura came by came today. Came by today, and she picked up a tortilla, tortilla press, press and a cutting board. And, a cutting board, and she yeah. brought her daughter and her friend, and we had an awesome time with them. And uh, we've shipped one cutting board to New York. Dee's went to Louisiana, and then we've shipped one to Tennessee to Quake Lake. So we've had three cutting boards gone. He's working on, I mean, not cutting boards, dough bowls. Dough bowls. Dough yeah. bowls, sorry. And um, so right now he's got two more he's working on, and I'll contact the next two people on the list. And Yeah, we have a list of people, and as we make things, we go down the list now tonight. Um, I am working on dough bowl number four and number five. Number five yeah. I'll, I'll kind of give you a little, a little preview here. You know, we moved it. everything around, yeah. so it's kind of out of the way. This is uh, dough bowl number four. It's um, it's in being made right now. Uh, we're not completely through with it. It's in its rough end stages. It'll be um, going up to the next people on the list. Uh, yes, we're going to um, email people. Uh, probably the two. Two that he's got going now. I'm going to send emails out probably tomorrow to the two people, the next two people on the list. And if they do not want them right now, I'll go to the next people is the way we're going to be doing it. Yeah, this is uh, one of the new cutting boards. Uh, we got rid of, what, two of them already? Um, mm -hmm. These will be going out to the next two people on the list that got with us. Um, we have two more, and I'll be contacting two people on these two. Trying to make sure which way I need to go so they can see it. <laughs> uh, I need to go toward you more. Um, but this one, uh, these are made out of cherry and maple and poplar. So, you know, they're going to be up for sale. Well, I mean, we just have a list of people, and I'm just filling uh, lists right now, y'all. Yeah, and jim at the nut house or jm at the nut house has got our our gmail account if you will want a dough bowl put it on there just know that it's going to be down the road because we're only on four and five and we have we're right at 30 people wanting one right now and he can only do a couple at a time and somebody asked did i know how to can before danny yes i have canned all my life so i've always been canning um, are the boards etched deep south homestead on them also? Yes, I will put anything on anything anybody wants. Now, you, yeah, you did on all of them so far, hadn't you? Yeah. Okay, yes. Yeah, everything has deep south homestead etched into them. Um, now, I have a one thing. This is the only one of these I have. There's only one. There's only going to be one that I know of right now that I might possibly make another one in the future if I come across the wood. But in my attic, I found one piece of wood, and I've only made one of these. Because that's all he had. And it's going to go up on Etsy. Um, and it is a tray. Uh, it's got handles on it. It's a serving tray. It can several different things, I suppose. Hey, uh, Sinclair Pages. I just don't know if you can actually see it. Wanda's got half of my picture covered up. With the, you need to drag that chat over to the side. Oh, he's he's not liking that. I can't. And I see Grizz is fixing to be. Uh, oh well, it just went away. Restore. Grizz is fixing to be um, not is, lifeless anymore. Yeah, this is uh, this is it. It's uh, it's twenty four inches long, and I forget how wide it is, but it's about. I don't know, 16 to 18 inches wide. This is from a single that. board out of a tree. I had to uh, cut it in half in order to plane it, but I put it back together. And um, it's made for a, it's just got two handles on the ends of it. It's made and for this a serving. one is, it does have a polyurethane finish. This one has a polyurethane finish on it. This is a uh, serving tray. Yes. But it's on our Etsy store. It's just a first come, first serve. Whoever wants it gets it, because uh, it's probably the only one right now. 
Yeah, he, he just put it up. A bread server, yes. Yeah. It would be awesome. It would be for awesome that. for that. Yeah. Um, we saw some of those online, and I told him he had to make one, and that was the only board that he had that he could make one from. And um, <laughs> yeah. So that's one thing that we wanted to show you the, you know, and talk about the people that's come, like D and uh, Laura. Yeah. We got to meet both of them in person, and that's pretty awesome when we get to meet you guys in person. We're just waiting on the Pratts to make it down while it's yeah. still good and hot, and they can enjoy all Maybe this. enjoy some of this heat that we're heat sitting here burning, burning up, man. Burning up. It'd make the heart work even better. I, t I promise yeah. you, Mike, you, it, you just got to come try it. But anyway, these are the ways that we're funding ourselves, I guess you might say. A lot of people say, well, what do we do for a living? These yeah. are the kind of things we do for a living. And the other thing, the other I thing guess, is, while we're talking about that, Wanda has going, her cookbooks are going to be in this coming week. Yes, I thought they would be in by the 15th. They delayed them a week. So they're coming in Monday or no, Tuesday or Wednesday. Yeah. I forgot what day, but they will be in Tuesday or Wednesday. And so, so many of you have ordered already, and that's okay. But uh, just for anybody that would like a, um, cookbook go to the Etsy store and they're available we'll be mailing them out as soon as they come in anybody that's yep. already ordered one we'll get one before the end of the week next week unless the mail does something stupid with the eclipse and all going on and how much of the cookbooks they're $20 plus shipping is five so 25 all together so um these are the same cookbooks. If you ordered one before, it is the same, same cookbook. Exact cookbook. I just ordered more because a lot of people were asking. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Grandma Rose says the real field temperature today was 110. Yes, yes. it was. And it yeah. was hot outside. Uh, Kristen says, how do we order the cookbook? It's a... DeepSouthHomestead.Etsy.com. No. Is that right? Yeah. No, deepsouthhomestead.etsy.com. Yeah, yeah, I guess that's so. That's right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I was missing a word in there, but I got it. Susan how said, did How you? did you go about getting your cookbooks published? We went through a publishing um, company that does Mor that. Morris Printing. Yeah. They have an excellent way, if you're even thinking about doing a cookbook, they have a quick way where you sit and type your. Um, everything in like all the the recipes and they format it for you you don't have to sit and do all the formatting and all that stuff because i was sitting trying to format every recipe and it was getting very very difficult and yeah. when i found them they did everything for me so it, it's pretty awesome yeah charlotte says you ever thought about doing a canning book yes we have but here's the issue what ticked me off okay <laughs> if i have anything that ticks me off this is going to be one of them we went and bought a program for our computer last year. Word. So but it goes off in a year. And, and you at don't the end like of a app. year, it just, it won't let us use it anymore. And we bought and paid for it. And at the end of the year, one year, it just went away and it's not on our computer no more. And now we got to go buy it again. Yeah, I've got to go to town and buy Word. So. And that's another, what, 60 bucks or 40 or something like I that? I don't know, something like that. Which is completely stupid. If I buy something one time, it should be mine. Yeah, <laughs> you would think the life of the computer. Yeah, for no. the life of the computer. So what we're doing is, I, I, I don't know about a canning, because you've got the ball books and you've got all these things out there, but I might do things I can. Yeah. That might be a way I, I do That's what it. I was um, thinking. Things that just you can. the things that we, Danny and I, can, and putting the recipes in there, and how long we can them, and that brings me to our canning thing. We as we've had a lot of people ask us a lot about canning, and Danny and I are going to be on uh, Blake Kirby's Monday yeah. meetups this coming Monday. If Blake gets everything done like he's supposed to, We're, he's he's saying he's working this weekend. We're going to be on Blake Kirby's channel, and it's um, Blake Kirby at Daddy Kirby's Farm, and it's going to be Monday meetup. I've got it in the uh, description, but I'm I'm not sure if the girls can pick it up or not. But it's in the description how to get to Blake's channel. Okay, hold on. Yeah. Listen, 
keepers at the homestead said, no, install LibreOffice. It's free and uses MS Word. Well, let me write the L-I-D-R-E. Yeah. Okay. Write that down so we can go in and check. We're going to check that. Thank you. Use Open Office also. Yeah, say it's free. Okay. Well, Danny said there ought to be something where we don't have to. Pay I told her, I said, hey, it's crazy. We have to spend 50 or 60 dollars every time I want to. Um, to do okay, something. so if I can do that, I can use both of those. Okay, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. MC Auto that's what's held us up on our, on uh, some of our Danny books, books. We, our Danny books that we've been wanting to write about corn and beans and peas and stuff like that. We don't have any. Mr. Dirt saying yeah. Open Office too. A lot of them are saying that. Okay, well we don't know about all this stuff, so we're, yeah, we depend on all our friends to tell us we what we all. need to do. <laughs> And then I have to figure out how to make it all work. And that's where we've got the camera set up today, where we're using the webcam instead of the computer. And I'm not sure if it's fuzzy on y'all's end or not, or worse, or if the computer's better. We'll just have to see how that does. <laughs> Grizz said, if I wrote a book about my thoughts in here, it'd be a, a book full of blank pages. Oh, he's so funny. That's funny. Oh, man. Only if it saves a doc, because it depends on what the publishers use. Yeah, we found a lot. We've got our local printer here that prints uh, his book. Yeah, we have a, a And it costs printer. a good bit. He's not making anything. I don't make anything off of, my, off of my trip data book. I really don't. Um, uh, some are saying fuzzy and some are saying clear. So I guess it's according to I guess it's, yeah. whatever. I don't know. Depends uh, on what kind of internet they have. Well, I do know my crazy days was really, really fuzzy, but I messed with the uh, oh latency, and it look was look what um I would just say Cackleberry. Um, Cackleberry says the ball website is having a sale on jars, regular jars, four ninety nine a case. Whoa, you guys, Whoa. if y'all need ball cannon, that's that's you great. better go buy these cannon jars for four ninety nine a case on the now, ball is that pints or is that he said quarters? regular jars? I don't know. Or she did. I'm, I know it's a she. I don't know. You know who it is. Yeah, I know, but okay. I said he before I thought. Okay. <laughs> uh, if I ever needed to pay for software, look for an open source copy. Okay. okay. We'll just call Mr. Dirt and make him tell us what we need to do. That's probably by Wait, line. Uh, sugar. Pints. It's pints. Okay, is it pints? But four ninety nine for pints. pints is, that's what we need. Pints are almost as expensive as quarts. Yeah, that's what we like. We need more of pints. We've got quarts everywhere. We're running out of pints. Have you ever tried Lulu? Uh, look okay? for the Ball website, uh, Charlotte, and see if you can find them on the Ball website. All right. Okay, that's pretty neat. Now then. But we're going to be on with Blake Kirby on Daddy Curbs Farms, and we're talking about canning basics. Yeah. We do a, a, like about a nine-minute video on Blake's channel explaining all the canning basics, and we walk you through a lot of things like really pretty fast. For Danny and I, that was fast. <laughs> um, Olin says, do you prefer a wide mouth or regular jars? I guess it depends on what we're canning. If we're canning meats, we like the wide, wide mouth, mouth jars because you can get the meat in and out of them easy. For canning potatoes, we like the wide mouth jars. Sweet potatoes and regular, regular potatoes. Regular potatoes, we like the wide mouth. But now if we're doing things like green beans or, uh, or carrots, carrots or carrots. peas, anything like that, the regular mouth is okay for that. Yeah. We, and, and that's uh, – we've There's got Laura. Some, yeah, she made it she home. She made it. All right. Okay. So Laura – has her cutting board and her tortilla press. Yes. And she made it home safe. So we thoroughly enjoyed the visit today, Laura. You're yeah, you're, you're great people. Um, your daughter and your friend you brought. We enjoyed all of y'all. Um, just literally uh, had a blast. And she has a daughter that's just a lot of fun, man. Yeah, yeah, her daughter. She's is a lot of blast. fun. Her, her daughter was a lot of fun. She's a chip off the old block. And it's good to meet like-minded people. That, that's not far from us. I mean, that's the good thing. Will there be more hunting videos this winter? Yes. Yes. Matter of fact, in the next two weeks, we will start um, preparing, getting things ready for that, probably. Yes. All right. Then the next thing, what were we? Oh, what were we talking about? Um, the back to basics thing. 
Yes. Uh, I'm going to be doing an online summit. I think I've mentioned it before. It's in September, September the 10th through the 16th. It's going to be a free online summit. And in the description, I put a link. If you go there now, all you're getting is a sign-up sheet. But I want you guys to sign up through me and go to it for this free conference or summit. Summit. Let's call it a summit. Let's call it a summit. I yeah. think there's like 20 or 22 presenters in this summit, and it's going to be for five days. Look, guys, one of the main um, things is if you want to benefit Wanda through this, you have you to have click to on her link. She's going to give you a link, mm -hmm. and, and you'll have to click on her link in order for it to benefit her. Yeah, and you'll have to sign up. But on next Saturday night, we should have the whole, um, I think they'll have the whole list up. Right now, all you can do is sign up. But by And you can go in and out the link, I think. I don't think it's going to be a big deal. But next Saturday, they should have all the presenters up. And I don't know most of these presenters. Um, I think there's only about two that I actually know who they are. And, um, but they have some great topics, all kinds of different topics for the homestead. And mine is going to be about canning and cooking. Basically, mine is about what are you going to do with all that food? Yeah. That's, that's what mine is. So I'll give you a little hint. And there are some freebies for signing up and things like that. Okay, we've got several new people on here. Wow. Um, uh, Jessica says, what are y'all planting in the fall garden? Okay. That's where we're at now. That's where we're headed right now. We're going to be uh, probably, um, I'm going to say to mid-September, toward mm -hmm. the end of September. Yeah. We're going to start getting our ground ready for things like, we, like especially when it comes for hunting. We're going to be getting our food plots ready, getting all that kind of stuff mm -hmm. in. Um, then for our regular gardening, we're going to be uh, – oh, I'm just going to get comfortable. i got to prop my leg up on here. Uh, we're going to be getting things like carrots ready to go in the ground the 1st of October. Um, then we'll be planting some broccoli. Now, all, this all depends on how hot it gets. Now, if it stays – Really, really hot. We may have to wait till it's a little bit further into October, but we will be doing uh, things like broccoli, cabbage, uh, carrots. Um, let's see, what's some of the other things? Our strawberries go in in the middle of November. Garlic goes in, and uh, well, the strawberries actually. What we do is we go through the bed, take yeah. everything out, and put redo the bed. Redo and put the bed. And put the put the new plants. The one-year-old plants back. And by the way, this year, if everything goes all right, we will have strawberry plants for sale. So y'all keep an eye yeah. out. Um, it's going to probably be 1st of November. But keep an eye out if you're interested in strawberry plants. Now, these are the ever-bearing. Uh, they bear for months. Hi, uh, Chris. So we'll have them for sale this year probably. Yeah. We'll be planting some garlic. Uh, remember, your garlic has to go through stratification. Uh, so you may have to put it in the bottom drawer of the refrigerator for a week before you plant it in order for it to think that it's been through a cool season. Uh, Danny corn, Mr. Robertson, is still for sale on Etsy. And what about uh, Wanda corn? My corn is uh, candy corn. Yeah, she has candy corn. I, have I wouldn't candy advise corn. planting it. It's not going to uh, come up. Um, but um, rutabagas is that one that you can plant? Your yeah, rutabagas you can plant in the fall. Um, like I said, we have our garlic, we have our multiplying onions, our regular onions will go in in the fall. Now, we'll be planting the long day varieties. Hello, Miss Patera. So, she is wanting strawberries. Do you want some strawberry plants? I'll put your name down. If you're wanting strawberry plants, sweetie, we got them. <laughs> we got, just I ask, promise you, we got just them. Just ask Mr. Dirt. He yeah, knows. Mr. Dirt helped with those things. He knows we got some strawberries. Yeah, we've got strawberries now. As a matter of fact, I have a bowl sitting in the refrigerator right now. He's waiting to eat. I'm his waiting to eat <laughs> as soon as this is over. <laughs> he, he's uh, got to where he just takes them out and just eats them. He lets them thaw a little and eats them. Um, our strawberries, I guess, are doing pretty good. We've got a lot of rain on them. Yeah. And we've got three beds right now. And... We worked two of them last year, or early spring. 
well, what was it, January, January. when Mr. Dirk was here. We are actually planning a little late this year. Yeah, we waited till they got there because Julianne wanted to help do some things, so we yeah. waited a couple of months late. But Mr. Dirt helped build a second raised bed, and then Julianne helped put all the uh, plants in, and then yeah. we planted a third bed. So we've got three. Uh, Keepers at Home said, how do you overwinter strawberry plants in, I'm guessing that's Atlanta? Um, what we do is we just build over our bed that our strawberries is in, we just put a plastic hoop over them. <laughs> so that, that, that does it for us. Yeah, my corn is best companion planted with dry, dry roasted, roasted peanuts. peanuts. Yeah. That's it. Uh, okay. oh, yeah, so we'll be planting some collards too. Mouse water now. Mr. Doing? Dirt, I've got a whole big bowl of this that I just made of the candy corn and peanuts for my Crazy Days video today. So it's sitting in there and I munched on it a while. I had, Danny's going to have to vacuum seal it to keep me out of it. So I saw the question go by, how deep do we plant our garlic? About two inches deep. You don't want it real deep. Um, and Do we have a video on growing okra from seed? Oh, do we? Uh, I don't I don't, we've only got like 600 something videos, so I don't know. We're right at 700 videos. Well, yeah, we're right, right at 700. Now. I don't even remember. Um, I doubt it. So you don't plant it in the fall, though. No, you don't plant okra in the fall. Okra has to be planted in the spring, so you have to wait till next year. We've been canning greens. We can greens. Uh, we can some kale. We can some uh, tender greens, or what is tender greens actually called? Tender greens is a mustard green. It's a, a mustard. slick leaf mustard. Yeah. And, but our tender greens are ones I've saved for years and years and years. So, um, um, Woodline says, Are you ready for Monday? I get Where squirrel stew every year trying to save my strawberries. Yes, because we've got a top on one. Yeah. And we've got to make the top for the second one. And then we've got to rebuild the third one. So, yeah, Charlotte says she's got the purple top. I, I agree with you. I love those things. It's just that the heat here came early this year, and boy, it really um, they, it's destroyed our college this year. That and the, uh, what do they call it, army worms or something yeah, like that. They just eat, eat them down. Now, we yeah. thought we'd keep them all summer, but that didn't work. Jessica says, I have the worst luck with small seeds. Any tips? Uh, it depends on what you're planting. Um, if you're planting carrots, I have an excellent video showing you how to plant carrot seeds with almost 100% success rate. And that will actually work on any small seeds. So go watch the carrot video, hunt it down, it's in the playlist somewhere there. And it's in a gardening playlist. Gardening playlist, yeah. We have, uh, all right, what's Monday? Laugh out loud. Okay, Gothic Sugar says, can you overwinter tomatoes? Someone <laughs> killed my garden and the young plants are all that's left. Uh, we overwinter ours in the greenhouse, so yeah. I'm sure if you bring them inside. Now, a tomato plant is a little different than other plants. It's wind pollinated, and you have to go by, and you have to thump it with your finger every day or like an electric toothbrush and vibrate the plant or something like that in order to pollinate it. So that's what we do in our greenhouse. Yeah, y'all pray for Patera because she is at ground zero for this eclipse coming through Monday. Yep. And I didn't realize it until I talked to her today and she said something about being at ground zero. And I'm like, oh. Look, so people are getting crazy they're going about it. crazy. A, about a, I mean, look, I, just, I don't know how to say this, but if you went to the bathroom very long, you'd miss the eclipse. Yeah. It's, it's going to be that, that short of a period of time. So, I mean, if you're not standing out there and waiting on it and stay put and you walk in just to check something on the stove, you're going to miss it. You know, uh, Susan says, "Can you can uh, cooked greens, collards, mustard? Yes, yes. we we can ours. Yes. Mm -hmm. Does diatomaceous work, uh, earth help with worms? Uh, yes, as long as it doesn't get wet and wash off, it does. Yeah, um, with the greens, we don't cook them all the way. I, no, I just we just wilt them. wilt them down really good and pack them in the jar and don't pack them too heavy so you have plenty of juice." And, but they have to can for a long period of time. I can't remember how long, but I'm thinking over an hour. 
Oh, Dee says she got in trouble for not going out and touring the greenhouse. Oh, well, bring Sweet Man back, and yep. you guys can tour the whole thing. Yeah, Dee and I forgot the greenhouse. We walked all around the yard a little bit, but we did forget the greenhouse. John said Julie and the girls are going to be in the middle of the mess, too. It's supposed to be a million. Oh. Oh, wow. No. Guys, I don't know. You know, this is really nice. Y'all want to move the, down south or something? <laughs> granted, this is the first time since our country's been a nation that this has ever happened. Yeah. And in seven years, it's going to happen again, but it's going to come from the opposite direction. But look, it's just an eclipse. Yeah. You know? <laughs> the, the only problem with oh, this thing. What? My brother. Which brother? Rick. Oh, okay. Grab it and drag it back. I just seen him on I there. I don't know how on this. Right here. Grab the little vine thing down here. I See thought I saw it. my brother, Rick. Oh, hey, brother. Got bored laying in this hospital. Figured out I'd get on here and see what y'all were up to. Yes, my brother, Rick, is on here. Uh, he's in the hospital, y'all. So keep him in your prayers. Um, I just had to catch that going through. Our the chat name, goes yeah. so fast, you know. Even the schools are closed, really? <laughs> yeah. That's just crazy. Let's take a vacation right to middle America because there's going to be an eclipse next yep. week. Oh, that's just weird. Yeah, if any of y'all remember Rick, we live streamed it at my dad's house, and Rick was there. He was in the wheelchair. He was in. Uh, we were doing a test live streaming from there. So, mm. Can you the, can broccoli? Yes. Yes. Well, you're freezing. Freezing broccoli is better than canning. Yeah, if you it can it, it's going to be mush. It'd make a great soup or adding it to casseroles or something. Yeah. Uh, somebody asked, are we still... Uh, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, we use it every day. It it has been a life, life saver. saver for us. If we could just seem to pay for it, we, it is the best thing that has ever happened to us. Yeah. Danny has used it for any and everything. We got... Um, Brenda brought us a bush hog. As most of you already seen, we got a nice pretty red a, bush hog. It was it needed painting and it needed a little work. And Danny's gonna put the I got a video coming up, up of me hopefully. rebuilding that whole bush hog. So um, and we kind of got ahead of ourselves. We started showing it on the tractor before he put it up, but yeah, we had Brenda and her husband came from Missouri and brought it and it was just pretty awesome. Yeah. Uh, the sky is falling, Tim said. <laughs> That's the only problem with this thing is not the eclipse. It's okay. all these people in one place. Kathy's funny there. She says, don't let your critters out during the eclipse. Who knows? They may look up. <laughs> hey, I just turned my pigs loose into the Danny Corn field today. So they are having a blast. So my pigs, I'll probably never get them back in the pen now. Yeah. I don't think the eclipse is causing any problems. It's all the crazy people the in people. one spot that's going to cause problems, which are yeah. going to, and they're going to blame it on the eclipse. And the eclipse has the absolutely eclipse has nothing, nothing to, do. to do with anything. It's just a, it's just an outer space phenomenon. You know? It's going to be awesome if you can sit and look at it through your weird little glasses. Or what else can you use? A paper bag with holes? Yeah, you could. You do the pinholes. Yeah. Yeah. That's what they did when we were kids. Yeah. Uh, Miss B Lady, howdy. She's back on remote internet and scrambled. scrambled. <laughs> ISB. She's having Arizona. internet issues. Oh, she has ISB? I don't, yeah. Okay. All right. So, Gothic Sugar is, it's the grid. Oh, it, it's the, grid the grid lock. lock. Yeah. yeah. Where everybody's all jammed together and then they're trying to get away. I mean, it's going to last five minutes or less. And then when it's over, everybody's going to start rushing out of town. And you're going to have, I mean, they're all rushing into town now. Eagle Camp says, are you going to be canning any sweet stewed tomatoes with green bell peppers? We, we did. did. We did salsa. a salsa video. Yeah. We added our onions and bell peppers and tomatoes and garlic all in one so that we could use our salsa for spaghetti sauce or chili, making chili, or we could use it in soups. Or we could just eat it as a salsa. Okay, y'all, this hair is going up. I left it down long enough. I can't read the chat when I'm doing this. Okay. I have to read chat. It's odd. It's actually a new moon that day. Yes, Kathy, that's right. It is a new moon that day. Um, <laughs> Tim Beverly says he put a bag over their head. <laughs> I know. I'm telling you, put a bag over your head. Yeah. Oops, that's not supposed to happen. But, yeah, but put the little holes in it and look out. But he said without the holes. 
Well, you got to have the holes to look out oh. to the sun. I don't know. How was the white sweet potatoes? They were, they actually, were actually good. good. They're not as sweet as yeah. the others, and they don't have the nutrition that the other ones no. have. I mean, they have the fiber and calories. Uh, they just they don't were. have the other vitamins and minerals. They don't have the uh, carotene yeah. and all that that the other ones do. Um, they had um, more strings to them. I, uh, to me, they were stringier. They were crumbly. You know what, yeah, they drier. Yeah, and a lot drier. They they weren't as soft and mushy as the pink ones. Yeah. Do we have any videos we need to talk about? I don't know. Before we get too far into this. Let's see. Uh, we were just going to talk about um, cooking. I mean, uh, the cannon and the harvest. Could this happen to us, porch time? Yeah. It Guys, I put that particular video up because of what happened to the Cherokee Indians and the Creek Indians and the Choctaw Indians and the Seminole Indians. There was a whole bunch of them there that, that, um, that had to walk on that trail of tears. And uh, I just put some food for thought out there because, you know, the way our, way our world's going, there's nothing that says that there couldn't be a form of government that stepped in and actually done that to us and take our land away from us. I mean, there's nothing that says they couldn't create a law and do that. I think right now they would have a civil war on their hands, but they had a civil war on their hands in with the Indians. So uh, yeah. I don't see where much would change. I do figure at some point they're probably going to try this. Yeah. That's why you see all these they so-called FEMA camps going up everywhere and all, and they'll, they'll gradually start putting certain classes of people into these things. Okay, and I saw two or three questions. Y'all going to have to... When he's talking, throw the questions back up because I did not catch some of it. Um, I don't know exactly what I saw. I was reading them and then. That's all right. Just let them roll. They'll come back. I put them back up so I can see yeah, them. Just, yeah, just put them in all caps so she can see them. See them. Uh, yeah, I mean, I really believe at some point they're going to try and pull this off some way. Uh, through, if it's nothing else, I mean, Agenda 21 just hit in the past. Agenda 30 uh, is, is what's coming up. Auto Man says so, it could happen again. Yeah, I mean, guys, look. Have you heard of a land patent? A uh, land patent, yes, I have heard of that. I actually looked into it because if you oh, actually, that's what we looked into. if you own a land patent, you never have to pay taxes again. And I have looked hard into this. Uh, the only I thing is, we qualify here. To, to do a land patent, you have to know who the original owners of your property was when it was homesteaded. And I actually do know the names of the people who yeah. were the original owners of ours. History repeats itself. Yes, it does. There is no nation on the face of the earth okay, this is that is immune to collapse. Uh, Kristen says she's new here from Texas. And we are in Mississippi. We are, we are southern are Mississippi, 30 miles, 30, miles. From, 30 miles from the Mississippi Gulf Coast. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Mr. Dirt, you're right. You're only looking for the right reason. I mean, you look at all the, uh, the Medes, the Persians, the, uh, the Alexander the Great's Empire. I mean, you know, Artaxerxes, all these people, uh, the Roman Empire. I mean, all of these great empires fell. There's nothing in the world to say that America is too big to fail. Yeah, Danny's ancestry is his great, great, so many greats back grandmother is, uh, she was Homa Indian. And then his, on his grandfather's side back that far, um, a couple more grandfathers back was part Choctaw. Choctaw. And, and his one mom was Cherokee. Was a rock koi. Well, but it was a form of it. It was part of Cherokee because the picture. One of them was Cherokee. One of them was down Cherokee. The down the line, there was a rock koi, Choctaw, and Cherokee. And then the Homa. And Homa. So he's kind of got a combination because of all the ancestors coming in together because I was trying to run all of them. And so he's got like more than one. Yeah, I've got like four different Indians in there. Olin, you're exactly right. Uh, they're doing a lot of this through eminent domain. And if you don't believe that this is real, let them try to put a major highway through where you live. The terror says you're pulling unicorns. I know it. <laughs> I'm sorry, girl. But you know me. 
I just you, think, you and me is kin somewhere down the line. You know that. I just call them lollipops, and she calls yeah. them unicorns. Uh, um, NC Auto Man says his wife is part Cherokee. Yeah, so I've got a lot of Native American in me, and that's why that, um, you know, why I'm so passionate about it. And Porch Time this week, it's going to be really interesting, y'all. So keep you know keep a heads up for that. If I'm able to get it done here, uh, we're going to. If the to be, eclipse don't mess you up. If the eclipse don't burn my eyes out or something like that, yeah. <laughs> you can do it without your eyes. You just sit and talk. I know it, but I, I want to at least think that I have eyes anyway. Now, Mountain Mama says she's got Cherokee in her. Oh. Keeper said they got Cherokee. Sunshine okay. said they got Cherokee. Uh, grilling in the rain. We got the new homestead box this week and I went out, cleaned the grill and turned around and looked and it was getting ready to rain. So I moved it inside. If you guys hadn't seen that video, go check it out. The homestead box is a really great um, thing that we get every we month. We get here one every it. month, yeah. And that, that has been a real blessing to us here because it's got a lot of things on it that we really and the uh, a lot of people asked about the white barbecue sauce. It was really good. I like it, and I'm going to be trying it on different. I think rabbit next. Yeah. I tried it on chicken, and it was good. So I'm going to put it on rabbit. And uh, so that's one of the videos we did. Jeanette says, "Danny, did you kill that big old spider?" No, I did not kill that spider. That's a banana spider. That spider keeps all the mosquitoes from eating me on the porch while I'm out there. Yeah, I mean, we've actually named the spider Eva. So if y'all want to refer to Eva, that's yeah. the spider. She's she's staying where she is to eat bugs. And uh, uh, oh, somebody asked about a star by the moon. moon yeah, well, it's, it's probably Venus because uh, Venus is is usually one of the only ones that's visible with the naked eye. So um, it's probably Venus. Yeah. Um, okay. Do you know what home. is what it was made from one to the sauce um not right off i read the ingredients but i'd have to look it's kind of a tangy but it's it doesn't taste like regular barbecue sauce at all um but it has a very good taste um i don't know how to even <laughs> describe it but it, i liked it sinclair what did he wow, say? wow all those nationalities and i'm just human <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, oh, well, man. I think we're all human. I, well, that's debatable with some of these people flocking to watch yeah, the secret. Yeah, really, I'm not sure they're I'm not human. sure they're human and all that, yeah. Um, the sweet potato pone was something, a lot of people, I'd always heard of cornbread as a pone of cornbread. So when I heard of sweet potato pone, I wasn't 100% sure about it. But I went and looked it up just to make sure after I made it what I was talking about. It is in several countries like Jamaica and different countries. It's got different names. It's actually a pudding. It's not really a, like we think of a cornbread poem. It's a pudding. So it's more soft and like a pudding. And I put uh, it in the iron skillet, but you can put it in a glass dish. Y'all, my brother Rick has got the name of that star up. It's a bright star above the moon. Uh, he 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 uses a telescope outside at night a lot of times, looking at all the uh, astronomy, and he he has it up there. The Acellus uh, Australis, or however you say that, is the star. Yeah. Uh, all right. Did I eat all the candy corn? No, I did not. No, uh, Danny I, had to take and put it up. I had to take it away from her. She's like a little kid. Yeah. And about all we did was our canning pink, pink eyed, eyed peas. purple whole peas. We had that. several people asked about that. So, um, yeah. yes, it tasted like rice pudding, is all it was. That, uh, And the white sweet potatoes did real well. They did good with that. You can also use your pink ones or yeah. red, orange ones, whatever you want to call them. Okay. Danny, do you think our animals will act strange during the eclipse? You know, I don't, that has been something I've thought about, but I don't know. Uh, I, I do think it might affect the chickens of laying eggs. Yeah. Uh, I think it may have some effect with them. But um, Well, I've got my light on just because I, I, it, all this rain, my chickens would not lay. 
And so I've been turning the light on what three days now. Yeah. And they're starting to pick starting up. To pick back up. So weather's playing a huge difference yeah, in the get, chickens. Yeah. Huh? Never mind. Um do you have did you get many pair peas? Uh how many jars of peas did we do? Did we do like about twenty, I think. About twenty quarts? Yeah, I think pretty close to twenty quarts. I think that's about what we've done. Yeah. Um, All right, that envelope almost had candy corn in it. It should have had candy corn in it, but I'm still eating on your candy corn. Sheila gave me pink, yellow, and blue. What pastel colored candy pastel corn? Pastel colored, yeah. And so one big jar I have not touched. I've eat the second jar. So, but um, the eclipse is going to be. Uh, He's looking for something, so. Let's see. The eclipse is going to be a.m. for some and p.m. for others. Yeah. You'll just have to look for your area where you're at. There should be something online that should tell where, what time of the day, um, because it starts in the west and moves east. We've got moves east, catty corn. Now, Marshall Farm said, where'd you get your shredder? You shred your white sweet potatoes with? It is a salad master. Yeah. Uh, I've had it for probably 25 maybe 20 25 years you probably can still get them on ebay or something uh, yeah you can use a, a welder's yes helmet you can use a welder's helmet to look at the eclipse but i think it's a certain welder's he helmet there's a certain, certain lens size. yeah, yeah. because paul was telling me there's a certain lens yeah can. just make sure you have the right lens on it otherwise it could be damaged um uh, i don't think the animals are going to react to the eclipse i'll be honest with you uh, most people you're going to be inside unless you're outside with your dog yeah. or something but uh, most of them, like the chickens, may think it's time to roost, and then when they about the time they get on the roost, it's time to get back off. I don't think it's going to do that much damage. Yeah, I mean, actually, the eclipse for us, uh, we're going to maybe oh. see like a two-thirds one or something. But and y'all, look, uh, I hadn't seen Orphan Lady on here tonight, but um, uh, Orphan Lady sent me some seeds, mm -hmm. and, and I did see a comment go through a while ago. They want to know some more information about. They were interested in more of the seeds that the Cherokee Indians planted. Yeah. Um, right now, I'm looking for another corn seed uh, that I found out that's Cherokee raised. It's called the uh, uh, it's called the long-eared popcorn. Yeah. That the Cherokees planted. It's, they said in the article that I was reading about it that it could be used as a sweet corn when it, when it was still fresh and not mature. Uh, you let it dry, it would be ground into flour, cornmeal, grits, oil, and you could pop it. The Cherokees loved it because of its versatility. And it makes an ear about four to six inches long. Uh, stalks are about six feet tall, so with multiple ears on a stalk. Yeah. So I'm looking for the long-eared uh, popcorn right now, uh, Cherokee mm -hmm. popcorn. The lady said, Papa said a welding number 14, and hey, turtle party and orphan lady he started in orphan lady sent us seed yes three different kinds the cherokee, cherokee purple, purple tomatoes, tomatoes the uh, white eagle corn and what was the third one and the trail of tears the trail of tears beans yeah we're trying to get enough, enough of that up to actually plant a garden of it uh so that um you okay, know we'll be able to do that get velma right quick Thank you. Who? Somebody just kind of clicked Velma off right quick. Hello. Quake Lake, uh, Sherry, somebody, JM. Just delete them for Look, me. Look, ban them. Don't, you just ban. Don't delete somebody's message. Yeah, ban, ban them. Yeah, go ahead. I and don't ban. play. That's one thing about me. You come on my channel and start this crap, you just ban. Yeah, y'all ban them. How about it? All right, now Tim sent us some European pumpkins, and so we're going to be trying those too. Patera has the white eagle. Okay. Okay, good. Well, we just got one pack. So yeah, we just got one pack today. Try so that. We're going to be trying. And uh, so, but Tim sent, sent us the European pumpkins, and I think some of those get kind of pretty good size. They get size, to be pretty good size, I believe. I think. Yeah. And then we got a letter from. Oh, Orphan Lady is on here. Okay. Yes, thank you. Thank you for the seeds. <laughs> thank you, and thank your husband, too. Yeah. We got a letter this week that was very special to us. Oh, 
a little guy from Arkansas sent me a letter. Yes. His name is Jake, Jake. And I wanted to say hi to Jake if he's watching. Better. He and his dad are um, watching and they are learning how to homestead so that they can get their homestead started. And they ordered Danny's sweet potato manual and they are really enjoying it. So yeah. hi, Jake. I just wanted to say hi before I forgot it. Um, um, yes, Gothic says we can report them too. Please do. Yes. And the other thing we got this week, I had talked um, when Leo was here, he came back. Oh, I don't even remember what, what month he came. But anyway, when Leo was here, like June, I believe, we were talking about fire cider because I got um, the horseradish from Alderman Farms. And it's growing really, really good, but I haven't dug any yet. And we were talking about that. So Leo sent me a bottle of fire cider. So yeah. I have that for, um, for medicinal purposes. That's what I want it for. Not yeah. necessarily oh, to drink every day. Fast. Yeah, we've got I don't to want to get into Zach's time. Growing up prayer uh, Put your prayer request up. Yeah, somebody says, please pray for our nation tonight. Yes, we are at really, really, really at some big odds right now with, with North Korea, the little punk kid over there. Um, who's some of these people up here? Read them off. We got okay. our prayer list right quick. Um, Patrick from Rain Country. Now, Rain Country hasn't been in tonight, her yeah. or Mr. Rain. He's having uh, some severe pain. Y'all pray for him that he can get better or that she will get him to a doctor this first of the week. Yeah. Um, Gary said that his wife, Patty, is having surgery. Yeah. And uh, I forgot who told me but anthony has a brain tumor and it was the girlfriend that was telling me this so y'all forgive me i didn't write all the names down and then we always want to remember daisy king farms um we met daisy at the conference, conference. and she had had a brain aneurysm before then and she had another one since she's had brain surgery since and now they've told her she has to have another surgery yeah so we want to keep daisy king and farms remember my dad is he's in a, he's in a swing bed. My brother is on here tonight. He's in the hospital. Y'all remember him. He's got some internal issues that he's having to deal with. And there's just an array of look. We we're gonna run out of time here, so we're gonna have to pray. Cause I I don't care if I don't get anything in. That's what I want to get in. I want to get our prayers. I want to get my prayers in. So, Father, we do come to you tonight, Lord. We just want to take time to tell you how much we appreciate you. Our, you know our main goal is to edify and glorify you and to lift up and promote your kingdom. And Father, we have an array of requests that's been mentioned here tonight. Lord, you've seen all the ones on the screen as it scroll by, uh, all the different needs of people. And Father, I know it always seems like we're always asking for special things for special people. But God, you're the great physician. And Father, we know that there's nothing that's above you, that all things are underneath you. And and that all things can be done by you, that you're omnipresent, you're, you're omnipotent, you're everywhere at all times, you're all seeing, you're all knowing. Uh, nothing takes you by surprise. So Father, anything that's wrong with anybody here tonight that we've mentioned has not taken you by surprise. So we pray, Father, in, in, the, in thy name, that you would look down upon all the requests that was mentioned here tonight and that you would heal them. Father, but you do it in a way that would best glorify you. Now, it may not be the way that we want, but Father, do it in a way that will glorify you because that's what we want is to edify and glorify you and your kingdom. Um, Father, there are some here that um, have mentioned special requests concerning specifics in their life. And Lord, and not only that, some here that's mentioned prayers for friends. Father, I mean, uh, there are those that have given their life for this country, Lord, our nation. The Bible says there's no greater love than if a man lay down his life for someone. We have people who've laid down their lives that we can have this freedom here tonight to sit and pray openly and to ask you to, uh, to come into our lives and to do a great work in them and, and to answer, answer prayers, Lord. So we don't want to forget these fallen people. And Lord, our country, as it faces... Uh, turmoil over the next couple of days over a I call it a silly eclipse Lord people are going crazy about this and uh, only you know father what can can arise out of this and, and, and plus 
our nation is also doing a tremendous uh, drill during this particular time of the eclipse. And Father, only you know what will even become out of that. So Lord, just watch over us and keep all, the, all of our subs safe. If they're in an area where this eclipse is going to pass through, Father, and there's just hordes of people, Lord, keep our subs safe during this time and, and watch over them and protect them now. And, and Father, we just want to ask that you'll help everyone here to have a great night, um, good rest, and help that Zach, as he comes on after us, Lord, will even have a good show also now. We want to remember our fellow brothers. So, Father, we just ask these things in thy name. Amen. Okay, guys, you head on over to An American Homestead. Yeah. And check out Jack and Zamy. Jack. Jack and Zamy. <laughs> Zach and Jamie. Zach and Jamie. There you go. At An American Homestead. So we appreciate each one of you. We appreciate all of our uh, moderators. And uh, yes, we've had a blast with y'all tonight. Guys, look, this is why we do what we do is yes. because where we can interact with y'all. Our desire was to create a community of people that could talk to one another and could talk back and forth with us. Um, that if a life-changing event took place, that we would have somebody to lean on and to ask questions to. And guys, that's what we've done. Um, uh, we're up to 300 people tonight almost. Uh, that's amazing. And it's all because of the grace of our Lord and Savior. Uh, we give him the we give him the glory, uh, Yeshua, uh, Yahushua, uh, Jesus, however y'all want to say it. Um, we give him the glory tonight for all the great things that's happened here. So thank y'all um, tonight for actually taking time out of your night to be a part of our night. So go over and show Zach and Jamie some love, and thank each and every one of you for actually taking time out to be on our program tonight because we do love y'all. I'm just typing. You keep going. Okay. So I'm right. just trying to figure out here how to kill our chat so we can actually get out of here. All right. They're saying the ball website price was wrong. Okay. Ah. So y'all check that out. Um, and before, to see what's going on there. If they're at $4.99, that's a great price. If not, find them at Fred's. Yeah, or wherever. <laughs> yeah, we got to get out of here. Zach is see already on. See you later. Guys. Would you be interested in Algonquin squash seeds? Yes, we would. Yes, I would. Catherine, let us know. Thank you. Yeah. Messages. Just messages. Bye, guys. We're fixing to get out of here. And well, we may not, but you have to figure out how. We have to figure out how to get out of things. So y'all just right have here. to hold on. We'll talk to y'all later. <laughs>